<laughs> what we got going on up in here, y'all? Ooh, I tell y'all, there's a TV and it's sitting in water. Ah, sorry. We'll grab it anyway. RCA. Yeah, we've had a little bit of rain these past few days. Absorbs instantly. Huh. Oh, just some old paint cans. Ah. All right, all right, TV, what's up? <laughs> Check it out. Do not climb or enter this container. I will if I wish, yo. What we got up in here? What's that, network box? Oh, shout dude! Uh, little scribbly scrib scrib. A little wire. Or metal band. Uh, anything up on this side? On this side. What's that board? Oh, we'll check that out. Oh, it's attached to the board. Oh, there's another piece. Oh, look at that, y'all. It's for like a screen or a monitor. like this same crab I found the other day. This may be that same dumpster. Yeah, look at that. I see aluminum on it. Look at that big old chunk of aluminum right there. Or that's a magnet, big old magnet. One of those electronic magnets. Like you see on a door or something. Firelight alarms. Uh, it's like somebody got a whole new uh, fire alarm system. Yeah, that's the same, uh, same stuff. Yeah, this, I think this is the same dumpster. Let me go get my steam. Yeah, the one, the the dude, he's gonna buy all those other boxes from me. Uh, he told me to hold on to him for him, cause he's a. Uh, Apparently at the moment, that's empty. Pursuing other adventurous endeavors. But hey man, go for it. Alright, All right, that looks like it. Ow! Whoa. Good going on over here. Bunch of fancy sticks. Ay ay ay. Cool. What we got here, y'all? Ooh, they go a little bit wild, y'all. See what we got here, yeah. Take that. Uh, ain't more of that wire. Nope, just that little bit of wire, y'all. All right. Oh, look at that. Little piece hiding from us. Oh, there goes a little more. Yep, sometimes it helps to check the other side of the dumpster. Ooh, I see a little down there. Go get my stick. Get my stick. All right, all right. Let's see what we got here. Nope. All right, wire. You got a little bit. Dude, Mike, you feel like a girl. Ugh, actually, that was my left hand. I'm right-handed, so naturally, when I throw left-handed, I'm gonna look like a girl. <laughs> all right, all right. What we got going on up in here, Scrap? Yeah. Oh, I see some number one wire on there, too. Remember y'all, be quiet. You don't want to draw attention. Oops. 
beat. Right. Y'all want to see something that'll really toast your goats? It'll toast a lot of people's goats. Look at that. This whole dumpster is full of tortillas. It's so full, you can't even close it. Look, flour tortillas, corn tortillas, tortilla chips, tostadas. Look at, I mean, it's just coming out the sides. Ugh. It's really sad. That's a lot of tortilla chips. That's a lot of corn. That's a lot of wasted product. And then the, you know, the restaurant that I work, I wait tables at, see, August 31st, 2019. So these are, yeah, August 31st. But, uh, I don't know. Anyway, yep, that'll really toast your goats. All right, guys, so I was doing a little prospecting and I was kind of poking around in this dumpster. It's kind of full. But I noticed this box over here and it felt like it had something in it. I got my blade and started cutting open. And I see a hose, some sort of pump, and a, it looks like a big old aluminum plate. So we're gonna try to get this sucker out of here. Grab it by the hose. Uh, big hose in the dumpster. Oh, jeez. This sucker's in there. Whoa, bag. Break your sail. All right. Gotta be strong. Yeah, it's big. It's really big. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what? Ugh. It's like a whole pump and motor assembly with a hose. Say what? Oh man, are there any more of them boxes in here? Come on that side. Those are flattened. What? Wow, that's pretty cool, y'all. <sighs> yeah. Ugh. Alrighty, guys. Got some more spaceship parts. Man, I'm going to the moon soon. Whoa, whoa. yo. A little stanky up in her. I think I see there's like some stuff in bags. Let me get my steam. Come here, steam. What is that? What? Huh? What are these? Some sort of coupling or something. Yeah, it's plastic. I don't see a part number on it though. Let's get one more bag. Ah, shoot, let's move. Some sort of fittings for something. I don't see it make a manufacturer's no part number. I'll grab them if anything, you know, it's plastic recyclable, but if you guys know what these are, let me know. For shizzle. 
What's up, dumpster? Ooh, is that a license plate? Y'all know me. I ain't passing up no license plate. Let me go get my stick. Get my stick. Here. Oh, and it's a handicap too. What's up? I ain't never had no handicap license plate. <sighs> All right, I'll take it. Huh? <laughs> what we got going on up in here, y'all? I see a little scrappy scrap and get my stick. Alright, alright, alright. What we got? Is that a lamp? <sighs> Maybe. <sighs> get this lit up here. Yeah, there's this nifty little box. This Mercedes box. Just chilling by the dumpster, but <sighs> I don't know that that's exactly fair game so we're not gonna touch it but oh we'll get the lamb what's the left of it uh oh what we got here y'all All right, it's a JVC tube TV. Usually I pass up on tube TVs, but everybody keeps telling me it's full of copper. So I'm gonna do a little research and we're gonna do a little video and figure out how you can actually get a little bit of money out of these old tube TVs. Cause I'm tired of people telling me to stop passing them up. What got going on up in here? What is that? Oh, look at that, y'all. It's a paper shredder. I'll take paper shredders. The shredders. What else we got up in here? Oh, uh, what is that? Uh, is that a scale? Put that up front. Maybe she works. Can weigh myself. What is that? I see a box full of like DVDs and stuff. What the heck? Let's see. You get, you get to that side of the dumpster. What is this? Super box of rock. Oh, Eric Clapton, CDs. There's some DVDs. Go through it, see what we got. What's that? Oh, that's an electronic pencil stapler, sweet. There's the High School Musical remix. Belly. Sorry guys, I never saw Belly. Pied said the Caribbean. Ooh, Medea. I love me some Medea. Back to the future. Ah. Can we get a show of hands? Who still has a DVD player? Can we also get a show of hand? Who still uses their DVD player? What? What? All right. All right, look, it looked like there was two pieces of a, a shredder up in here. I want to know where the other piece, the other piece of that shredder is. You know what? Let's get out of here. Is it over here?
Oops. Miss. Ah. Don't make. All right, y'all, but we got like some paper shredder and CD DVD stuff. Let's go. Ah. Oh, hell no. All right, all right, all right. What we got here, y'all? If I got some aluminum chairs. Oh. Oh. A whole bunch of them, actually. See what we can do here. Gosh, there's a whole bunch of them. Get a few. Uh, uh, uh. 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 Yeah. Hey, they go a little scrap. Uh. Oh no. I dropped some sand. What else we got up in here? Oh, I see a aluminum hook over here. Oh, I'd say more aluminum right there. Ah. Ah. They just had to stick it down in the bottom. All right. Yeah. All right. I think I saw a hook. Get my fatigue. It's all fiberglass. Let's see. Give me a stick. Oh, I see aluminum poles down there, y'all. That's like a board for like a person. Huh. All right, let's get that aluminum out. Let's see what's that? That's not aluminum. All right. We got these poles down here. That's fiberglass. Oh, shoot. You know what it is? It's a bunch of poles. They're fiberglass poles with a aluminum tip. But I'm not jumping in there. There's like a that's like bleach and muriatic acid and stuff and just nasty, nasty stuff. But hey, we got a few good things. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this stretcher board, but that's still pretty cool too, huh? Ah! Well, all right, all right, all right, scavengers. Another successful evening of getting some stuff in the dumpsters. Uh, we did okay. Uh, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Got some pretty decent stuff. I don't know what I got the uh, that bodyboard thing there for. I don't know. Not a clue. It'd be cool, kind of like maybe paint it up and then like 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 a wall decor piece found a tv it was in a dumpster a little bit of water in it probably uh probably no good but you know parts whatever and then uh i've got some light fixtures a couple more of those uh, network boxes which are super cool uh and then we got all of these uh these aluminum pool chairs uh just tossed out need to clean them up usually i would have had them already cleaned up but unfortunately guys as some of y'all know my storage unit was broken into night before last idiots stole uh, power tools and other tools and uh, like I said total idiots because they took the drill they took my drill they took the battery the charger but they left the case for the drill same thing with the angle grinder they take the angle grinder but they leave the case that's got the accessories and then the key for the collar uh, it, I don't get it I don't get it. and they take my razor scooter and leave my BMX bike like like what what 
but anyway so yeah some some stupid <sighs> I guess less fortunate people we'll leave it at that you know uh, decided they wanted to break into my unit and steal some stuff but the jokes on you because you really didn't get a whole lot and you got a broken TV <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I gotta go get, uh, I guess I'll just run on up to Harbor Freight and get one of their angle grinders. I heard they're pretty cheap, and I heard they're okay, uh, until I can afford to get me a decent one. And then, uh, I am bummed about the drill, though. That DeWalt, that was like a $200 drill. <sighs> so, but luckily, I have a Rockler gift card left over from Christmas. We'll get that. And then, uh, you know, a couple other things, woodworking tools, you know, jigsaw, router. Luckily, I had a, uh, I had my radial saw in the back of the truck at the time, so they didn't get that. Woo, thank you. But anyways, all right, and then I finally, guys, I hear you, I've heard you, and I've heard you over time and time again. Why do you not pick up tube TVs? Well, to be honest with you, I've never done a tube TV. People say there's a lot of copper in them, but I also heard that these things, uh, what do they contain, mercury or something, um, something nasty. And, uh, you know, and they make, and it's, you know, it's just kind of messy, so, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a little video here shortly on taking this apart and we're gonna see if the juice is worth the squeeze this is a smaller tube I didn't grab a big you know if the smaller one works out then maybe we'll start we'll start stepping it up to the bigger ones because obviously bigger ones are gonna have more copper but we'll take this apart just to see how big of a pain in the butt it is and uh, whether it's worth it because some people swear by it they say there's a lot of copper in them so We'll have to check it out. Uh, I found this real heavy duty wall TV mount. This thing's awesome, folks. Totally awesome. Uh, definitely not gonna scrap that out. It's totally resellable. I could probably easily get five, 10 bucks for that. I mean, that's like, you, like, you put some, some lag bolts or some straight up bolts in that sucker. That may even be stainless. I don't have my magnet with me. Have to check it out. But yeah, that's some, that's some hardcore right there. And then, uh, yeah, we found a bunch of DVDs. Some of them are okay. Like I said, I still have a uh, DVD player. And a couple, you know, pulling dynamite. Hondo, the Goonies. I already got the Goonies on DVD, though. So, you know, just kind of go through it, whatever. Garage sale, free bucket, 25 cents a piece. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. Same thing over here somebody's old CD collection. I'll go through them. Terry Clark. <laughs> I'll go through them because yeah, there's an Eric Clapton one and uh, in the storage unit. Uh, they got one. They got my boom box too. My nice Bluetooth stereo boom box. They got that, but I still have the old Sony that uh, plays uh, CDs. So we'll, we're going to have to go back to jamming CDs, y'all. Uh, let's see there. A little bit of scrabbity scrap. And then we found these guys. I'm not sure what these are. These look like some sort of fittings. For some sort of hoses i grabbed them not sure exactly why but it looks like they all kind of go together maybe let's see yeah like that screws in here and then you've got like bigger fittings smaller fittings so I don't know. Do y'all know what these are? I can't find a part. There's no part number, no manufacturer. And I'm sure they go to something and probably, I mean, they don't look super cheap either, but who knows? All right. And then that leads us to my booster pump for my space shuttle I'm working on. Found this guy back there. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. It's some sort of pump. That's for sure. You've got your impeller here, your motor here. It looks brand new. It even has this nice hose. Like this is a nice hose. Really, really, really nice hose. This is this is what they call a suction hose. Uh, well, it could be a suction slash discharge, but a uh, suction hose is gonna be reinforced with that metal in there. That way when it's sucking, the hose doesn't like crimp on itself. So yeah, that's my little bit of oil filled knowledge for you guys. But yeah, I think it like kinda, I don't see it hooking up here, but there's yeah some sort of connections and it pumps something I don't know what kind of pump this is uh, Euro Piquan Wartong Nach Biden Nunga I do that's that's the biggest the biggest German word Just says service according to manual. Oh, there's the English part. Okay Let's see here 
There's some sort of latch. It's got latches. Oh yeah, there's a filter. So that's an air, see that's an air. So maybe it's an air pump. Maybe it filters air or something. Yeah, that's a Gardner Denver motor right there. Or uh, the Siemens Gardner Denver Man and Hummel. This is expensive stuff on here, guys. And I'm sure this plate, and I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure this plate is aluminum. But yeah, this is when I worked in the oil field. Like I can tell you right now, this is not the cheap stuff. You know, the Gardner Denver pump, Siemens motor, like pumps made in Germany. Like, yeah, this is a nice piece of equipment. And the fact that it looks brand new, it was still in the box. So I'll have to look it up. I don't even know what I, I mean, how do you, how do you approach the, uh, <laughs> the big boys? Hey man, y'all want to buy a pump? So, uh, we'll see what we can do. If not, you know, definitely we could scrap it out. We got the motor and that housing looks all aluminum. This is all aluminum. Yeah, this is definitely made for a saltwater environment. So definitely be able to get a few bucks and scrap out of that. So. But alrighty, scavengers, that's going to do it for this episode of Dumpster Diving. I'm your host, Mike the Scavenger. I appreciate y'all tagging along. As always, it was a total pleasure. Uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel. Shout out to everybody that bought some merch. I appreciate that, guys. And a special shout out to Sean, a.k.a. Daddy. He bought him a sticker, told me he bought him a sticker. Appreciate that, Sean. Uh, got more stickers they should probably be here i think they said on the 16th so i think that's monday and we'll get some new stickers and hopefully y'all like them and uh you know we can get rocking and rolling but uh anyways guys y'all take care have a lovely day enjoy your weekend it's gonna be nice well hot here anyway ow what we got here y'all